So when I'm giving the news that someone has a devastating neurodegenerative disease that's untreatable, like ALS, it's like giving someone the diagnosis of having cancer and there's no cure. And I try to deliver the news like if they were my mom or my husband or my kids, how would I want to hear that news? And it's very hard uh, for the patients and it, it's devastating for their, for their families. So for example, if I've got a patient you know, that had maybe had you know, mild aches and pains and a slightly high muscle enzymes, and it turns out that they actually have a progressive neurodegenerative disease or ALS or a rare muscular dystrophy, you know, the, the hardest part for the patients is to know that their children might be affected or their siblings or parents might be affected with the same disease. I think as a scientist, that's what spurs me to do the research that I do to, have, to find better treatments, to find better ways to diagnose patients with these rare disease. And I have the honor of caring for the patients with the rarest and, and most degenerative diseases and the honor of helping to find the treatments that are gonna make them better. But one of the really innovative things that we do in Ottawa is the translational research program. So that's basically working with the basic scientists and the clinicians together to find therapies. So I can be a really kind clinician, physician in clinic, but unless I'm working with the basic scientists and the patients to find new therapies, I don't feel like I'm doing enough. As director of the Neuromuscular Centre, I feel really fortunate about what research we're able to offer in the clinical care. So at the Neuromuscular Centre, this is a relatively new centre and the hospital had supported the development and it was really a, a patient-driven centre. So this way we were, we were able to bring the doctors together, the technologists together, and we even have uh, research scientists working in the clinic. So this is a really innovative clinical model. And how this can help patients is that when they're coming in for, for a clinical visit, they can also uh, have access to research clinical trials. They can provide research samples for the new translational research that's happening and the therapies of the future. And a discovery for one muscular dystrophy can translate to a potential therapy for another different neuromuscular disease. And that's why it's so important to focus on rare disease research.